Dan, something that BitShares 2.0 has done very, very eloquently has solved one of the major criticisms that the mainstream people have used against uh, Bitcoin and the other cryptocurrencies. For most pe for people outside the system, one of their main criticisms is that cryptocurrencies just fluctuate in price too much. They're too hard to use, it's too hard for users to get their mind around, and the price floats around. I know for um, the cryptocurrency diehards like ourselves, that was a, a relatively minor point and could have been overcome, and certainly overcome with centralized solutions, but you've come up with a very, very eloquent solution that is performed on the blockchain with uh, you know, minimal counterpart party risk. Why don't you talk a little bit about what you have with smart coins? Smart coins are um, digital assets that are fully collateralized, 200% so, uh, with a cryptocurrency that backs it. Uh, this means that there's actually two parties involved in creating these smart coins, one that gets leverage and the other gets price stability. Uh, so we've got several different smart coins, one that tracks the dollar, one that tracks the euro, uh, as well as gold, sir, silver, and uh, the Chinese yuan. So we, these smart coins mean that you can transact um, and do business on a blockchain in a currency you're familiar with without having to worry about you know, the value of the currency going up or down by 25% uh, you know, in a couple of days, which is not unusual in the cryptocurrency space means you don't have to be a speculator in order to use cryptocurrency anymore. Without the use of third parties, where your funds are at risk, even if the, you know, the money's in a bank and even if it's a trusted third party, but who knows, you know, employees go rogue and errors are made on databases and things like that. On, on a smart chain, you have an infallible ledger. It is completely securitized by a cryptographic asset and at all times, in real time, in real time cryptographically, you can prove that the funds are there um, protecting your investment, which means that you can hold a cryptocurrency, get the full feature set of cryptocurrency and one on a smart chain, and you can do all of this without being at risk with fluctuating price. You can you know, hold $10 worth of BitUSD on the smart chain and know that in six months time, it's still going to be worth 10 BitUSD. And that's a powerful thing. You can Now, I just want to do mention here, um, you mentioned a couple of markets that are already in place, but BitShares is designed to scale into many other markets. So, you know, you can go into many other currencies, many other commodities, and all this occurs right there in a single interface. So a user can choose something, well, something that's very difficult now. Let's say you think, you know, your local, the, the national currency that you hold your funds in uh, is maybe getting going to lose value over the next year or so. You might want to transfer some of that value to a different national currency or a commodity like gold and silver. It, there are a lot of steps involved in that and a lot of costs to get there. And you have to ask a lot of third parties permissions to do it. Um, that is all simplified right there on the uh, BitShares smart chain. You can just transfer and hold any portion of your wealth in any one of those commodities or fiats and uh, you are cryptographically sound, which I think is really, really cool. The BitShares blockchain also allows you to create your own smart coins. Uh, you publish a price feed that tracks anything you like, uh, you bring users to it and you can make money anytime someone uses or transfers or trades one of your smart coins. So we really open this up to the free market to experiment with different collateralization rates, different fee structures, um, and while still keeping it fully decentralized. Yes, yeah, so that's a really important feature. In fact, already I believe um, there's a couple of indexes up. So I think I think it's the Shanghai Stock Exchange and one other Chinese stock exchange that someone stepped up and said, you know, I'm going to provide a price feed for this. Uh, people can choose to use it if they want. Now, as I understand it, in BitShares 2.0 people who create those smart coins, they're also going to be allowed to set fees. So as long as they can prove to the world in a way that, they're, that they are trustworthy and they are worthy of being used, there's an opportunity for them to actually you know, make an income by producing any kind of asset. It could be a CPI index. It's completely open to the free market. Whatever an entrepreneur can prove to the world is trustworthy uh, can be used. And that's very, very exciting. And he doesn't even have to prove to the world he's trustworthy. He can work together with uh, 30, 40, 100 different people uh, to produce a price feed and you don't have to trust one individual you can you know by the time you get that many individuals the probability of collusion is essentially zero they've got more to lose by cheating the feed than by um, uh, cooperating and even if the feed is uh, manipulated no user is forced to buy or sell um, if they don't want to so you're, you're very well protected 
Um, the whole time, the collateral's there. The collateral can't be stolen. No one can spend it. There are no private keys that have the ability to spend the collateral. It's locked up by the blockchain itself and the global consensus. So your funds are secure. Entrepreneurs can make money, and they can do so in a way that is still trust-free. It's not like you're trusting one individual. And you can also do so in a way that is, uh, generally speaking, regulation-friendly. Uh, the regulations around publishing a data feed are... Uh, theoretically much less stringent. You can do that from anywhere in the world. You don't have to have reserves. You don't have assets that can be seized. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility for entrepreneurs to use smart coins uh, to grow. And that's what BitShares is all about, creating opportunities for other people to make money.